seconds left to go. You can count it down back in Wisconsin. They go from Rice to Roses, from State Street to the Colorado Boulevard. The Badgers are in the Rose Bowl. The final score at the Tokyo Dome, Wisconsin 41, Michigan State 20. For 30 consecutive Badger football teams, the Rose Bowl was something they watched on television on New Year's Day. It was always a day for a Michigan or an Iowa or an Ohio State. But roses were red in 1993. Hi, I'm Brian Manthe, voice of the Badgers in 1993, and it was a great honor to bring you Badger football from the start of the season in September through the Tokyo trip in December and on to the January 1st Rose Bowl. And in the next few moments, we'll take you through every heart-stopping, breathtaking moment of the 1993 Badger season. The quest for success that was the 1993 Wisconsin Badger football team began in the depths of despair of November 21st, 1992. As members of the Freedom Bowl and Independence Bowl looked on closely, Wisconsin knew if they got a win that afternoon in Evanston, Illinois, they would be bowl bound. Well, rather fittingly, Freedom and Independence are on the line today for the Wisconsin Badgers. Freedom and Independence from years of losing seasons. The Badgers with a win today could have themselves a winning season and a 12th game. Bevel will give to Burns. He's hitting the backfield ball. Oh! We accomplished an awful lot. We did a lot of good things this year. We played with a lot of young people, and uh, you know, we it was a good year. It, it could have been. It was very close to being a great year, but we just didn't get it over the hump. And, and they'll all be back, and they'll be better, and they'll be stronger. And I feel good about our future. Driven by the many heartaches of 1992, the Badgers would settle for nothing less than excellence in 1993. The challenge for Barry Alvarez and the Badgers erased not only the way 1992 finished, but erased the bitter memories of eight bowlless Badger seasons. An entire generation of Badger fans has grown with only stories of Badger Rose Bowls. 31 years of Badger football history were about to be just that history and the mission began in madison it would end in pasadena from camp randall stadium in madison where although there's a quarterback named magic on a team called the pack the fans here are all cheering for a badger named bucky as the season opens the 1993 football season is about to get underway the wisconsin badgers against nevada's wolf pack throw is bevel he's got time steps up looking long he's got a man caught dawkins wide open 25 20 dawkins 15 10 5 touchdown jc dawkins and the badgers have scored their fourth touchdown through the air and lead it 27 to 3. Bevel will throw the pressure is on into the end zone dawkins touchdown the second time today that jc dawkins has been on the receiving end of a Daryl Bevel pass and a new Badger record. Five touchdown throws for Daryl Bevel. The fans get to their feet, 66,000 strong. Count it down. Seven seconds to go. The Badgers have won the football game. Your final at Camp Randall, Wisconsin 35 and Nevada 17. From the outskirts of town in the Old West, at sundown, the shootout at the O&B Corral is about set to get underway. I'm Brian Manthe along with Randy Wright, the Badgers and the Mustangs. And Randy, for the Badgers here, a confidence boost last week. This would be huge if you can get that first win on the road. That's the big a Minnesota game. That's the big test, just to prove you can win on the road in a game that they're favored to win and should come away with a win. Says the Mustangs, lead at 6-0, Flanagan to throw this time, sets up in the pocket, it looks right, looks left, end zone, touchdown! Wide open is James Whitmore, and for the first time this year, Southern Methodist has scored a touchdown. And right now, they've got the Badgers down 12 to nothing. And Bevel will throw. Straight drop back. Protection into the end zone. J.C. Dawkins. Touchdown! J.C. Dawkins on the post pattern, and the Badgers have tied it up. They are an extra point away from taking the lead here at Owen Bay. Bevel to Fletcher. Fletcher coming to the near side. Fletcher's got the corner. Fletcher's got the touchdown. Terrell Fletcher with his first touchdown of the season. The Badgers putting it away with 51 seconds to go. They lead it 23 to 16. One second left to go. SMU needs a touchdown on this play, then a two-point. Here's Flanagan, a lot of time. A lot of time. Can't get to him. Now the pressure's coming into the end zone. It's intercepted. This one is in the win column for the Badgers. Scott Nelson, it's all over. The road win for the Badgers, just their second and 30 try. And now... It's a return of the tough ticket at Camp Randall. It's a return of winning football at UW. 
But today it won't be a breeze. It'll be a cyclone they've got to contend with as the University of Wisconsin takes on the Iowa State Cyclones before a nearly packed house at Camp Randall. In motion, Doremus to the far side. Ball in the center of the field. They'll fake it to Moss. Throwing his bevel. Doremus has it. Doremus is into the end zone for the touchdown. Showing to the near side. Lee Doremus all alone, and he has six. And the Badgers lead it by 20. In motion, near side comes Doremus. They'll roll to the far side, give it to Moss. Moss has a big opening, and he has got his third touchdown of the day. Brent Moss uh, trot into the end zone from a yard out and a demoralized bunch of Cyclones now trail at 27 to nothing. Your final score, Wisconsin 28 and Iowa State 7. The perfect start to 93 was gratifying, but it certainly was not a shocker. The Badgers were better than their three opponents and they proved it. Well, now the Big Ten was ready to challenge the unbeaten Badgers. And the first up for Wisconsin, the unbeaten Indiana Hoosiers. The Badgers had played the Hoosiers a year earlier and had lost in heartbreaking fashion when the wide-open Mike Roan couldn't get the pass from Daryl Bevel in the closing seconds that could have possibly tied or won the game. It was back to Bloomington to start the road to the Big Ten Championship. On a gloomy Saturday afternoon that matches the feelings of the Badgers the last time they were here just a year ago, it's Big Ten football, the Badgers and the Indiana Hoosiers. It was one year ago when Wisconsin came in here and had a chance to win it late in the game against the Hoosiers, only to come up short on a fourth down in the final seconds. Payback time? Could be, or it could be, KC leading the Indiana Hoosiers. Montgomery in motion, far side. They'll stretch the play to the far side, give it to Moss. Moss finds an opening, the 45-50. Moss into the opening, the 45, far side line, 40, 35, 30. Brent Moss will go to the 10, the 5, and pushed out of bounds. Help mark him out of the one-yard line. Brent Moss on the far side line, pushed out by Moss Richardson, or it would have been a touchdown. The Badgers will have it first and go inside the one. Here's Bevel giving it to Moss. Moss looks for an opening, falls forward. Touchdown, Brent Moss. Snap is a little high. Brunston gets it on. Block. The ball's loose. you got to get on that football. They can be returned. It's loose at the 30, and it is eventually covered. Flag goes down on the play. No, Indiana's picked it up. They're running with the football. They're going to score two. Running on the far sideline and going into the end zone. The Indiana Hoosiers will check the flag, but that will be two if it holds up. Lance Brown picked up that block. His first kick. action, he gets the football. Opening up the middle, 45, 50. Hits the tacklers and stays on his feet, 50. 45, Fletcher in the upper of the 40. 35, 30, a foot race. 25, 20. He's going to score. The 10, the 5. Touchdown, Terrell Fletcher. He breaks one all the way. 57 yards. And when he got into the secondary, not even the speedy most Richardson could catch up. And the Badgers lead grows 12 to 2. Third and goal. Just over the three-yard line of the Badgers. Indiana with a football trailing by 11. The I formation. Here comes the option. Near side pace. Pacey keeps, Pacey diving, Pacey is in, touchdown. Pacey kept it, and Indiana now is within five, 20 to 15, with 6.50 to go here in the third quarter. Lover and Chaney. Pacey will pitch it. Here's Chaney. He's got the first down, 25-20, and inside the 20, fumble. Ball loose. Nelson's got it, and the Badgers are going to have it back. Yes, Badger football. Four yard line. Bevel is going to throw. He's got some time now. Rolls to the near side, looking into the end zone. It is a touchdown, Wisconsin. The Badgers with a touchdown in the near corner. It looked like it was Matt Nyquist who made the grab. And as soon as they come out from the tunnel, we'll let you know for sure because he got pushed into the wall on the near side. And the Badgers have taken the lead and increased the lead. Well, as at one time, a Badger lead of five has grown to 26 to 15. Last time the Badgers went 4-0. Dave McLean's first year. Bevel goes down to a knee again, and that will do it. The final play of the game, and for the first time since 78, the Badgers are 4-0 and to start the football season. The Badgers back in 78, Dave McLean's first year, beat Richmond, Northwestern, Oregon, and Indiana. And today, their fourth win is over the Indiana Hoosiers, and you can bet the national ranking will improve. And certainly the Badgers' position in the Big Ten standings now on top, along with Penn State looking awfully nice after four games. It's back home in two weeks. The final score, Wisconsin 27, Indiana 15. If the kids didn't have composure, if they didn't have, uh, you know, the... the uh staying power, you know, I, I think we'd have been in trouble, but they just hung with it, and they kept battling, and, and uh, really proud of the way they, they they hung in there after we jumped out like that, and then let them back in the game, but uh, I think they know how to win. Well, we got four and a half oh.
Is it payback time or will it be double or nothing for the Wildcats of Northwestern? Good afternoon and from Camp Randall Stadium, a now sun-drenched Camp Randall Stadium. I'm Brian Manthe along with Randy Wright. Today the Wisconsin Badgers may be still smarting a little bit from last year's season finale to take on the Northwestern Wildcats, a team that has some pretty good success against the Badgers, winning four of the last six times. But it's a new day for the Wisconsin Badgers. The 4-0 Badgers who go up against the Wildcats and Randy, that is the difference here. The Badgers seem like a better team where in the case of Northwestern they've improved but it's still Williams and Gissendan. I agree Northwestern has improved defensively I think as much as offensively but they still don't have quite that confidence that you need walking onto the field. That's the biggest improvement in my opinion with the Badgers is they are really confident that they're going to win the majority of the games that they're playing this being one of them and that's something the Badgers really haven't felt in a long time. This is a game coming into it it's a big game because they're 4-0 you need to win it but they fully believe that they are going to win it and they should. In motion, near side comes Dawkins. The gift straight up the middle, Montgomery. Montgomery's got the five. Montgomery's got the end zone. Touchdown. Mark Montgomery blasting into the end zone for his first touchdown of the year. And the Badgers have been down here four times. They've scored three touchdowns. It's 20-7 with Sauce. Set to the right is Montgomery. Give it to Moss. They run to the right. Moss has the 20. Cuts it back 15. Moss is going to go all the way. 10-5. Touchdown. Easy pickings for Brent Moss off the right hand. Down by Lee Doremus and the Badgers lead 33 to 14. Turning goal from the one yard line in motion to the near side. Worth give the football to Carl McCullough. Sweeping right side. Touchdown! Carl McCullough, his first touchdown in the Cardinal and White. Back to throw is Williams on first down. The pressure coming once again. Down he goes. Brought down by Lamarck, Shackerford, and Mike Thompson at the 48 yard line. They punish Williams again. They will not run another one off. The Wisconsin Badgers with pure domination of the Northwestern Wildcats. Pay back and then some for what happened at Dyke Stadium last year in Evanston, Illinois. Your final score on homecoming 93. Kind of felt like 83 when the Badgers were so dominant. The Badgers beat the Wildcats 53 to 14. Dust off those record books because we may be 60 minutes away from history in the making. Good afternoon, actually good morning. Brian Manthe along with Randy Wright. And today, for the first time since 1912, the Wisconsin Badgers can start a football season 6-0. and More importantly for the present tense, it also means the Badgers would clinch a winning season. Continues to wind here in the first half. In motion goes Jackson near side. Fake the handoff, bevel to throw on play. Actually, he's going long. He's got Jackson in the end zone. Touchdown! Keith Jackson with just his second catch as a Badger. His first touchdown grab. And Wisconsin goes up by two touchdowns on bevel to Jackson. Bevel brings him up on a second down and five. At the Purdue 18-yard line, Badgers leading 21 to nothing from the far hash mark. Play action, Bevel to throw. He's got a man. Caught! Touchdown, Mark Montgomery! Over the middle, Montgomery breaks free. Grabs the football, and the Badgers' lead throws to four touchdown. Third down and six from the seven. Fake the handoff, Bevel, near side, throwing end zone. Caught, Nyquist, touchdown! Matt Nyquist juggling on the near sideline in the end zone, makes the grab, gets the feet down, and the Badgers have themselves a five-touchdown lead. Cius goes to a knee. The Badgers go to 6-0 and for the first time since 1912. The Wisconsin Badgers walk off the field with a sixth straight win to start the year. Wisconsin a winner. 42-28 over the Purdue Boilermakers. Psychologically, it's nice to see us at the top of the heap and still undefeated, and, and uh, that's always good. But we've got a game next week against Minnesota, and uh, we'll enjoy this victory tonight and go home, get a chance to go home and watch some games. But we'll get started on Minnesota tom uh, tomorrow, and, and we'll be ready to get after them. Under a layer of Teflon and in front of about 60,000 fans at a sold-out Metrodome, it's Big Ten football, the University of Wisconsin, at 6-0 and on the season, up against the Minnesota Golden Gophers trying to get to break even overall at 4-4 four and four, and to improve to 3-2 and two in the Big Ten. It's two wide receivers split to the near side of the field in motion to the near side. Douglas. Scott Eckers, the quarterback, takes the snap, fades back to pass. He's got time, swings it over here to Darkins. He's got an opening at the 35. Darkins gets to the sideline, 30, 25, inside the 20. He's going to go all the way. Darkins 10-5, touchdown. 
Chris Darkin puts Minnesota on the board. And it's 6-0 Gophers on the 39-yard touchdown pass. Eckers, number 12 on the year. And the blitz is coming. Bevel to throw. They pick it up and they throw the intercept. Going to be a touchdown Bobby, the other way. 50, 45. Only Bevel can stop him at the 25, and he can. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Darrell Bevel's interception return for a touchdown, and it is now 20 to nothing, Minnesota. Here's Bevel handing off to Moss. Moss waiting for the blocks. Gets him 10, 5. Moss, touchdown! Red Moss off the left-hand side, scores! And the Badger fans go berserk in the far corner, and Brett Moss goes for touchdown number 10. It's 21-13. Play clock running down to one second. They get the playoff. Here comes the pass under pressure. Caught first down. Still on his feet early. 30, 35, 40. He may go all the way. 40, trying to chase him down is Gales at the 20, 15, 10, 5, and 2-yard line. 22 seconds to go, 4th and 10 at the Minnesota 32-yard line. Montgomery in motion to the far side. Here comes the blitz, Bevel to throw. He's got time, steps up. Bevel looking, he's hit as he throws. Doremus downfield, take a play. That's it. That's exactly what we called. They came with the blitz. They tried to throw a low percentage. That's all you can do when you press your corners at the line of scrimmage. You can't throw a short pass. You have to get your, your receivers behind their corners. It's a low percentage pass, and you don't give your quarterback time coming with the blitz. 16 seconds to go. Wisconsin about to suffer its first loss of the 1993 season. Badgers with a timeout left, but that is insignificant. Minnesota needs to go to a knee and then go to the Badger sideline and take the axe. Minnesota will go to 4-4, four and 3-2 four, and two in the conference. The Badgers will be 3-1. and one. Eckers to a knee, and the Badgers to 3-1 and one in the Big Ten, 6-1 and one overall. Well, what we thought was going to be two teams playing next Saturday tied, still going to be tied, but both with a loss. It's over, the final. Minnesota 28, Wisconsin 21. We started real flat on both sides of the ball. We were tentative. Uh, started in a hole on, on offense, and uh, we just weren't sharp. You know why? I, I don't know. I can't put my finger on that, but uh, I like the way they came back. But w when you make that many mistakes, uh, you you're not going to beat a football team. They, they were ready, and I have to give Minnesota all the credit in the world. Uh, they came out ready to play, and they played hard, and they played hard for four quarters. How could it be? That road to 7-0 and had been cleared so nicely of everything but those nasty varmints from Minnesota. Well, that loss allowed the doubters to question the ability of the 1993 Badgers, and thankfully, none of the doubters were preparing to play the Michigan Wolverines the following week. Will it be domination or destiny that rules at Camp Randall Stadium? And while the maize and blue ain't amazing anymore, this is a big game for the University of Wisconsin football program as they take on the Michigan Wolverines at Camp Randall. We've waited for months. It's finally arrived. The Michigan game, Randy. This is what college football is all about. And I tell you, I, I feel so good about this game. I think there are so many things in the Badgers' favor. Today is going to be the day the Badgers gain respect. The left-footed boot coming off the hold from Bevel. It's on the way. It is good. Three on the board for Wisconsin. Daryl Bevel, a new holder. And Wisconsin also with a new kicker. Rick Schnetzky, he puts it through. It's 3 to nothing. Wisconsin over the Wolverines. At the Michigan 12, give it to Fletcher, Fletcher boxed into the backfield, he breaks the tackle, Fletcher to the 10, Fletcher to the 5, Fletcher, touchdown Wisconsin! Terrell Fletcher breaks tackles, breaks the line of scrimmage and breaks the heart of the Michigan Wolverines, the Badgers lead it 12 to 3. The handoff fake to throw is Collins, he's got a man open in the end zone, Alexander, touchdown. And at the end line, he makes the grab and just like that, it's a 13-9 game, Michigan has crawled to within 4 points. Formation, Davis to tail back behind Foster, behind Collins, the quarterback. They'll fake the handoff, back to throw, pressure coming, thrown up for grabs, Alexander downfield, intercepted Jeff Messenger at the 10, Messenger to the 15, to the 17, Badger football! Be riding on a right here with 5.21 to go, Wisconsin leading 13 to 10, but Michigan is at the Wisconsin 28-yard line, 4th and 8th. Foster the lone running back. Badgers drop off of the line of scrimmage. Here comes Collins to throw. The pressure is on. He avoids one tackler. He's got time over the middle. Caught. Will they get the first down? No! They drive him backwards at the 21-yard line. Badger football. To the line they come with 13 seconds to go in the game. Bevel calls the signals with three on the play clock. Bevel to a knee. The Badgers to 7-1. and one. The Badgers have won again. Beating the Wolverines 13-10.
and this celebration has turned very sour, and it's it's really a it's a disgusting thing. And I, you want to keep from talking about you want to talk about the game, but they have at least six seriously injured people near the student section. Six seriously injured people near the student section that they have got to attend to. Ambulances are on the field. They've already made the announcement. One person already pulseless and not breathing. Uh, it is a celebration that has unfortunately turned ugly down near section O. There even are a, there are a couple of players out there as well who are concerned for the safety of those people. And it should not happen. The band is leaving the field. There should have been a fifth quarter. This should be one of the happiest moments in Badger football history. Instead, it's turned ugly because some fans lost complete control over on that far side. You, you, you talk about, I mean, how callous can you be? There are students on the goalpost. The mm -hmm. announcements have been made. The police and the ambulances are over right by section O, and there are students on the goalpost trying to shake them down, but not 20 feet away from that. It was a party canceled, although it later became a party just postponed, because the aftermath of the tragedy of that afternoon at Camp Randall Stadium would prove to be a study of heroism and healing. The biggest heroes were some of the biggest Badgers. Joe Panos, Joe Rudolph, and Tyler Adam were among the Badger players rescuing fans from the carnage. One Badger, Michael Brin, saved at least one life by administering CPR. The Tuesday news was that recovery would be complete for all of those injured. And now it was time to think about Saturday and the Ohio State Buckeyes. It's sunny and 75 degrees in Pasadena this afternoon. And that's the thoughts of many fans that are here. The 77,000 looking at one that could mean one half of the matchup for Rose Bowl 1994. From the Buckeye 8, far hash mark is where they work. Back to throw is Bevel. Here comes the blitz. He avoids it. Bevel looking into the end zone. Doremus, is he going to get it? He does! Asked for some quiet on a wing on the left is Doremus. Montgomery offset to this near side. Ohio State jumping around again. Montgomery will not get it. They'll go to Moss. Moss has the end zone behind Montgomery for the touchdown. Leading them in was Montgomery and taking it in for the 11th time this year is Brent Moss. Wisconsin leads Ohio State with 7.17 to go in the third. 53 to go, 14 to 7, Wisconsin is leading, but the Buckeyes are threatening. Here's Powers, play action, he's looking long, into the end zone, touchdown, Joey Galloway! Got by Donnie Brady, and Galloway, the catch, it's 14-13, the Buckeyes are within a point. It's Rick Schnetzky, the kick from the 23-yard line, a 33-yard boot, the kick's blocked. The kick is blocked, and the Badgers and Buckeyes play to a 14-14 tie. There's one second left to go. They're, they're in the, I mean, that's a great football team, that Ohio State team. And uh, I thought both teams fought extremely hard. Um, it wasn't very pretty when they went 99 yards on us in a matter of a minute or whatever. It didn't take very long. But uh, we had a chance to win, and, and, and we didn't. We, we broke down in the kicking game. And uh, well, I'm proud of the way our kids fought. I mean, that, that was two good teams battling out there, and it was a good football game. And once again there was doubt now once again the badgers ignored it well most of the people in the state by the time november rolls around are covering their rose bushes but for the wisconsin badgers as they headed off to champagne their roses were just starting to bloom well roses are red the buckeyes are blue it's the badgers in pasadena if they get two and with that it's a good afternoon from memorial stadium in champaign illinois the scene is set and the wisconsin badgers know what they need to do win two and it's on to pasadena california both wide receivers deramus and dawkins to the far side the wing is roan castro has a tight end spot on the right side give it to fletcher he's trying to sweep the near side he's got the corner turned he's got the five he's got the end zone touchdown terrell fletcher with the burst of speed in to the end zone in Wisconsin now up 20 to 3 on the fighting line. Moss on the handoff. Moss 25 30. Moss says the all time leader in a single season rushing total. He is able to pick up 12 yards right there. That is 78 yards. Brent Moss now has put together the best season ever. Marquise Mosley back to receive the kick. Now that'll be Gary Volker who will send back. Gary Volker will receive the kick. The snap, the bite, the kick is blocked. The ball is bouncing toward the end zone. It's at the 10, picked up, and it is a touchdown, Illinois. Picked up by William Morris. The kick was blocked by Tyrone Washington. A clear path right up the middle, and the Badgers suddenly are up only 21 to 9. Well, they have it first and 10 at the Illinois 23 yard line with 10.05 to go in the third quarter, leading 21 to 10. Bevel will throw. Straight drop. Max got time throwing into the end zone. Touchdown! Michael Rohn does it again. 
And the Badger lead grows back to 27 to 10 on Bevel's second TD pass of the day. At the two, in motion near side to Ramos, number two. They'll fake the handoff, Bevel the roll to the far side, throws it in the end zone, it is touchdown Badgers! Lead to Ramos on the grab, and the Badgers are up 34 to 10. Bevel to Ramos, the third touchdown pass of the day for Daryl Bevel. The final play of the game at Memorial Stadium for the Wisconsin Badgers. They are leading 35 to 10 as they come to the line of scrimmage. To a knee goes Bevel, to Japan go the Badgers. Let's board the Tokyo Rose for Tokyo, Japan, and a shot at the Rose Bowl. The final score, Wisconsin 35, Illinois 10. Congratulations. Great day. I feel good. I'm happy for my kids. Uh, extremely happy for my coaching staff and uh, very happy for the for the great for our great fans. All right, Barry, thanks. Congratulations. Okay, thanks, Matt. All right, Barry Alvarez, coach of the Badgers. Brian, back upstairs to you. Ready or not, Tokyo, here come the Badgers. In 1990, the Wisconsin Badgers were worlds away from going to the Rose Bowl. On December the 4th, 1993, they had it down to just a half a world away. And while the trip to Tokyo had taken 17 hours, it would take just 60 minutes to get from Tokyo to Pasadena. 31 years ago, JFK was a president, not a movie. Pat Richter was a player, not an athletic director. 31 years ago, the Badgers went to the Rose Bowl. History in the making could be here in Tokyo, Japan. The Badgers now have it second down and goal at the one-yard line. Got a wing on the right-hand side. That's Roan. He goes in motion. Fletcher, the running back. He gets the football rolling near side, trying to get in the end zone. He breaks the tackle. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Terrell Fletcher. And the Badgers have grabbed the lead. Right now at the 40-yard line of Michigan State. The Badgers have it. They lead 10-7. to Hand off to Fletcher. Fletcher looking for an opening. Finds it. 35. Breaks the tackle. 30. Fletcher in the open. To the 20. The 15. The 10. They mark the ball to three. It will be a second down and one for Wisconsin with a minute 25 to go in the half. I'm flying right now when you're having fun, and that's what the Badgers are, leading 17-7. to seven. They'll give the ball to Moss. Moss will come to the right side. Lou is in the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Ryan Moss. And Wisconsin's lead grows to 23-7 to seven with a minute 15 to go in the first half. From the seven, Montgomery in motion. Double to throw. He'll throw into the end zone to Ramos. brings him up on first and 10 at their own 49-yard line, and they will play action. The throw is Miller, rolls right. He's going to look long. Badgers have it covered. Gales is down there, picked up! Badgers have it back at the 8-yard line. Moss, the lone running back. Montgomery on the wing to the right. In motion, he'll go to the left. Bevel will give it to Moss. Moss finds an opening. He's got the end zone. Give me six more. Wisconsin lead grows to 40, to 20. It's only 347 away from Rose Bowl. 94. 10 seconds left to go. You can count it down. Back in Wisconsin, they go from Rice to Roses, from State Street to the Colorado Boulevard. The Badgers are in the Rose Bowl. The final score at the Tokyo Dome, Wisconsin 41, Michigan State 20. It's beautiful. It's just great for everyone. So proud of my staff and my players and great people in the state of Wisconsin and the alumni. We wanted to win this game for them because they've deserved it. It's been a long drought. And now they can enjoy it. And the kids have just followed the plan that we've given them all the way through. And I've just never been around a group that's been able to do that the way this group has. I'm really proud of them. No longer will Wisconsin fans need to rely on a grainy 31-year-old black and white highlight film for their Badger Rose Bowl experience. The field visited by Iowa, Michigan, Ohio State, Indiana, Purdue, Illinois, and Michigan State since January 1st, 1963, belongs again to the men from Madison. The team that really did say it all in 1993, the Wisconsin Badgers. How little they knew last spring. That Tournament of Roses committee that chose as its theme, the fantastic adventure. If the Badger football team were afloat, they would have won the award for the best use of Tournament of Roses theme. It was the most fantastic adventures that brought the Badgers to Pasadena for the 1994 Rose Bowl. A season stretching from September the 4th to December the 4th had been filled with so many incredible events that it seemed hard to imagine the Rose Bowl itself could live up to the excitement and the fantastic adventure that was the 1993 Wisconsin Badger football team. 
The new year started with the University of Wisconsin marching band parading down the length of Colorado Boulevard. Led by band director Michael LaCrone, the dream of band members for the past 31 years is being realized in the bright sunshine of this first day of 1994. By game time, Badger fans were filling almost three quarters of the 100,000 seat Rose Bowl. The talk all week had been of Badger fans being shut out of promised Rose Bowl tickets. But the scene that afternoon made you think it was the UCLA fans that had trouble finding tickets. They were outnumbered by at least three to one. Fans may have been awed by the sights, but the Badgers certainly weren't as Rose Bowl 94 got underway. It's rah-rah time in la-la land. It was just a few years ago that climbing the San Gabriel Mountains to our left would have been easier than climbing the mountain the Badger football team had in front of them. They've reached the mountaintop, and we're set for Rose Bowl 94. Lone wide receiver on the near side of the field is DeRamus in motion. Montgomery giving it to Moss. Moss to the 20, 25 to the 27 or 8 yard line, straight up the middle. Brett Moss on first and 10, and does that look familiar? It may have been a month, Randy, but that's the way the Badgers do things. I was just going to say, whenever they play, we've had off weeks before. Now we've had an off month. Nothing changes. A simple handoff to Brent Moss and a huge line. He gets the ball all the way up to the 28. A great way to start for Daryl Bevel. Let him hand off and get some of those nerves out of his system. In motion to the near side comes Doremus on first and ten to throw his bevel. He has time. He throws complete at the 40-yard line to London. First down of the 43. Der Bevel on the first pass of the day complete to London. Michael London who makes the grab of Wisconsin. First and ten again. Now at the UCLA. They'll mark at the UCLA 43-yard line all year long. London, one catch. He just matched it there. But the good start would not produce points for the Badgers. It did lead to the best special teams play of the day. Fight waiting back at the Badger 40-yard line for the snap. It is a good one. Takes his time and gets the kick away. A line drive kick. Gidry will let it bounce at the 10 to the 5. Badgers down it at the 1. They'll mark it at the 2 as Vince Zulo got down there quickly to down the football as they have done so often this year at the 2-yard line. That's where UCLA has to start. But UCLA has started in tougher situations all year, and the pregame hype had been over that Brewer offensive capabilities. But the Bruins proved it was more than just hype. Waiting for the snap he gets. He'll hand the football off to Washington. And they get Hicks in the backfield. He's got the first down at the 15. Hicks to the 20, 25, 30, 35. And knocked out of bounds by Reggie Hope. For the first big play by UCLA. As he's able to get UCLA out of a hole on third down and one. Cook in the shotgun formation gets the snap. Little pressure. Throwing to the right side. Wide open his scope to the 45, 40. He's broken a tackle. 35, 30, 25. Scott Nelson there to make the tackle at the 18 yard line. He'll fall forward to the 17, and there's J.J. Stokes all alone on the far side. Angle here from the right side for Merton. The ball waiting to be snapped. They set it. The snap comes back. Low snap. Kicked by Merton. He's got it. And Bjorn Merton has put the first points on the board for UCLA with 4.16 to go in the first quarter. It's UCLA 3, Wisconsin nothing. The Bruins now had scored 94 points in 12 first quarters this season. But Wisconsin was also a quick starting team, and their first scoring march began with the Racine Park combination of Brent Moss and J.C. Dawkins. Montgomery now going in motion to the left. They'll give the ball to Moss. Big opening, 40. Moss to the 45, still on his feet to midfield, where he's finally brought down by Tommy Bennett. But another big pickup by Brent Moss to the 50-yard line, a pickup of 11 first down Badgers. Chant of let's go red right down below us and all around the stadium. Bevel to throw. He'll throw near side. Wide open, Dawkins to the 45. To the 40, Dawkins blasted to the turf at the 36-yard line, but another Wisconsin first down. J.C. Dawkins turned around and didn't realize how much room he had to run. And he did the wise thing. You see a lot of times receivers will get the ball, they'll try and make something fancy and get extra yards. He got the ball, realized he had the room, and went straight upfield. Took a solid hit, but got the most yardage possible out of that play. Now he puts the Badgers in nice position at the 36. Good play by Dawkins. And they just get it off. Bevel almost drops the ball, goes back to pass. He's looking into the end zone, streaking into the end zone, and, and down goes oh, the 15-yard penalty against UCLA. Big, big penalty there as Dawkins was flying into the end zone. The Badgers will get the penalty going their way. And we would find out how opportunistic the Badgers would be on this Rose Bowl Saturday afternoon. Now, you know, all year the Badgers have used two tailbacks. 
In the final moments of this drive, they used them both again. Terrell Fletcher and Brett Moss. The Badgers sent three wide receivers to the far side. London to Ramos and Dawkins in motion to the other side. Goes Fletcher to throw Bevel over the middle. Wide open Fletcher at the 15. He's got to get that first down. He's at the 10. He's got it to the 5. Fletcher diving to about the 2-yard line. Terrell! on the catch and the run first down and goal for Wisconsin inside the UCLA 5. A great call by the Badgers that time. They sent Fletcher in motion. They had nobody in the backfield. They caught UCLA in the blitz. Good scouting report knowing that they liked the blitz. Nobody picked up Fletcher. They brought him right underneath the wide receiver. He was wide open right there. Then he used his speed to get to the outside. That's the thing. Those are some of the things you can do when you got four weeks to prepare for a game. Great call. Boss and Montgomery in the backfield. In motion goes Rowan to the left. They'll stretch the play, give it to Moss. Moss cuts up the middle. Moss cuts it into the end zone. Brent Moss with his first Rose Bowl touchdown. And the Badgers have taken the lead. Six to three. Well, neither team seemed bothered by any kind of early game jitters. The big game on the big day was producing some big plays. That is until things got kind of strange midway through the second quarter. The I formation behind Cook. Stokes to the near side. Long count. Badger show blitz. Play action to throw his Cook. He's got time. Throwing it is. Intercepted. Messenger at the 45-yard line. He stepped right in front of Kevin Jordan. And the Badgers forced the first turnover of the day. And for Messenger, his seventh interception this season. Showing blitz. And here they come. Bevel to throw. In trouble. Avoids a tackler. Throwing on the run. A wobbly pass is knocked in. Intercepted by Goodwin at the 28-yard line. 7-3, Badgers lead it. 9.55, second quarter. Fumble, and down goes Cook at the 23-yard line. Out of the shotgun. He just dropped the snap in the shotgun. It's a second and long. In the shotgun again is Cook. Cook will pass this time. Badgers trying to send pressure. Throwing complete. Fumble, Stokes, the ball's loose. Still on the ground. Badger football. They're on top of the football at the 32-yard line. J.J. Stokes didn't make a big Wisconsin has the football. And that's the difference, Brian. When you close as a defensive back, Messenger that time not giving near as much room as Kenny Gales on the other side. Stokes catches the ball, turns around, wham. Messenger's right there. He doesn't give him a chance to get his feet set and put a move on. The other side, if you give too much room, that's where Stokes gets his big play. Messenger, a beautiful job that time. Give him the room. Don't get beat deep. But then you close as soon as you read the pass play, and he creates another turnover. Two well, series in a row. What have we seen here in the last few minutes? These are like open Opening the opening minute, drive. The opening minute jitters that you normally get fumbles and, and miscommunications. We're going to get here midway through the second quarter when the butterflies yeah. should be gone. The early snap, that's a good point. You know, you're seeing a lot of those mental mistakes that you would expect it early in the first quarter rather than early in the second quarter. It was time for somebody to take care of that football. Who better than Brent Moss? And Sanity returned then to the offensive attack. Though he was driving the Bruins a bit crazy. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. 7-3 Wisconsin in motion as Montgomery gives the ball to Moss. And opening, Moss 10, Moss 5, Moss to the two-yard line. Third and goal inside the two-yard line. Wisconsin with that 7-3 lead and 5-13 to go second quarter. Moss and Montgomery behind Darryl Bevel. Doremus in motion to the right. Bevel gives it to Moss. Moss gives the Badgers so close to the end zone is he in. He Nobody's, nobody has marked him in and he's clearly in the end zone. We still wait for the second yeah. touchdown. He's got six more. And Wisconsin takes the lead 13-3. to They made it 14-3 to but there was UCLA again threatening to come up with a score of their own but there was the Badger defense again. Cook to throw. Straight drop back pressure. Shackerford down he goes. Down he goes. Big defensive play by Shaq. And would the Badgers be able to capitalize with yet another score before intermission? Head center of the field. Double the hold with three seconds to go in the first half. Ball is down. Schnetzky's got the kick on the way. Rick Schnetzky missed it. Off to the right. The Badgers don't get three, but they take a lead into the locker room. It's Wisconsin, 14. UCLA, three. Another 30 like the first 30, and the Wisconsin Badgers can be Rose Bowl champions. Ah, but Wayne Cook and J.J. Stokes are the ones that were set out on a mission to begin that second half. They took control of things early. The second half's opening drive was impressive, but again, like so many things on this afternoon for UCLA, it would come up short. And Cook to throw. Cook in trouble. Cook goes down and he fumbles the football. He's back at about the 12-yard line. Badgers said they have it. So do the referees. Badger football. Turnover of the UCLA Bruins. Well, Jack who comes up with that football. 
but the Badgers crushed Wayne Cook. And down there is Mike Thompson holding the trophy up high. And they force UCLA back on the Cook fumble. He went back to pass, and the Badgers put the pressure on. The hit came from the blind side, and Carlos Fowler also hind in there on the hit. He forced the ball loose, and Mike Thompson gobbles it up. And while the Badgers have been pounding away with Brett Moss through the first half, it was time to sting them with some speed and Terrell Fletcher. The Badgers have the ball at their own 12-yard line, their first possession of the second half. 12-13 is what now remains. A handoff to Fletcher. Fletcher to the 15. 20! Five sideline, 25, 30. Fletcher in the open at the 40. Now runs out at midfield. But Terrell Fletcher, the burst of speed at the 45 of the Badgers is where they'll mark him out. The Badgers respond to the turnover by the defense with a big play from the offense. It began a drive that appeared to be on its way to providing Wisconsin with their third touchdown of the game. But the ugliest of recent Super Bowl incidents then marred what had been a great day to that point. On fourth down and one from the Bruin 10-yard line, the Badgers had the football. But the action began with inaction by an official and ended with a suspension of four players, Lee Amos and Mark Montgomery of the Badgers and Marvin Goodwin and Donovan Gallatin of the UCLA Bruins. Cross in your backfield after having missed the field goal already. They're not taking any chances. They're Eight. giving it to him. 8.19 to go. Third period on a fourth down. And the UCLA's offside. Give it to Moss. And he's hit. And is there a flag down on the play? They do not call oh, flag. Flags. No flag down. And Moss didn't get the first down. Now flag goes down. Three flags are down. We've got a fight. Oh, oh there you go. Throw, and we still have a fight going. On the far side of the field, Doremus is involved in a fight over there. And now the UCLA bench is coming over. Another flag. If anybody's got one left, ought to be thrown over there. Doremus is in this fight because Marvin Goodwin went up well after all the flags were thrown and clearly gave him a cheap shot elbow, forearm, right to the head. That's what's got Doremus involved in this. I don't know what the three flags are for because they were thrown well before it. Well, UCLA's got to be penalized for their bench coming over to that fight out of the 10 yard line. Back to the play, UCLA was offside. It looked clearly that they had somebody offside. Donnie Edwards, number 23, was clearly ahead of the snap, but yet they didn't throw the flag then, and Moss was stopped short of it. So it's going to be some kind of dead ball call. Uh, a lot of this chippiness and frustration has been evident for much of the game, and we saw UCLA getting a little out of hand earlier, and they were flagged for it. But now, did they see that elbow, or did they just see Doremus go berserk? I did not That's see a flag, not no, at the elbow, it, it, nor a hat, because there aren't many flags left in pockets. But it, 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 Marvin Goodwin should clearly be thrown out of this game. You, you hate to see this game start turning into a situation where your concentration is not on football. The Badgers have dominated the first half of this game. They got a 14 to three lead. Barry's got to get him thinking about football, playing football, forget the rest of the stuff. Cook in the shotgun on first down to 33. Take the handoff to throw his cook. He's looking deep. Oh, oh. Down. Ball's loose. Badgers didn't get it. It's still loose. Now they've got it. Badgers do it again. The defense able to come through. Wayne Cook forces up the football, and the Badgers are able to fall on top of it. Badger football at the 37-yard line, and it'll go the other way. And the Badgers were not distracted. Pete Dye to Levy's recovery of that fumble allowed the Badgers to get the football back. They were still on that course, set forth by Gary Alvarez and his coaching staff. But unfortunately, that fracas earlier seemed to almost ignite the Bruins, and they got themselves a touchdown march going. It's going to be Cook handing it off again. Walker away on the outside. It's Davis. Davis to the 10-5. Davis touchdown. Ricky Davis got the right side, and he was able to get by the Badger defense, and UCLA crawls back to within five on the touchdown run by Ricky Davis. The conversion coming to make it 14 to 10. And the fourth quarter was just seconds old, and the Badgers were clinging to a four-point lead, and the Bruins quickly had the ball back, but not for long. 12 minutes and 23 seconds is what shows on the clock. 14 to 10, Badgers, UCLA with the ball, and the shotgun is Wayne Cook. Cook is going to hand it off once again. Running to the far side, Davis, just like the touchdown run. He got the 30. Fumbles the football. Get it, Badgers. They've got the football. Mike Thompson has it, and the Badgers get it back on the fumble by Ricky Davis. What a break. Oh, Badger football. The defense comes up big when UCLA had it going their way. Now, when UCLA's coach, Terry Donahue, prepared his Bruins for the Rose Bowl, he certainly mentioned the running of Brett Moss and Terrell Fletcher. You know he talked about the dangerous Lee Doremus, and he brought up once or twice the passing ability of Daryl Bevel. 
But there certainly didn't seem to be any reason to mention the running ability of Daryl Bevel. High formation, Worth and Moss. Worth in motion. Bevel to throw. Moss picks up the blitz. Bevel's got to scramble out of trouble. He's got a big opening at the 20. Bevel at the 15. Bevel at the 10. Bevel at the 5. Bevel's into the end zone. Daryl Bevel. That blazing speed takes him into the end zone. He looked upfield and he had nothing but the entire Pasadena Valley in front of him. He took off, made a nifty move at the 5. And Daryl Bevel has given the Badgers a 20 to 10. Fourth quarter. Absolutely startling. Daryl Bevel with the touchdown run. The Badgers were up 21 to 10. To keep the Bruins at bay, the defense came through again, and the Badgers' 11 point lead seemed safe. Yard line, their own UCLA, first and 10. Now down to nine minutes left in the game. Cook will go back into the shotgun. Stokes to the near side, the wide side of the field. Back is Cook to throw over the middle. It's caught by Jordan again. The 45 on the slant to the 50. Fumbles the football again. Badgers Nelson has it. Badger football. Well, the Badger defense was spectacular. But this was the Bruins' home turf, and it was supposed to be their game. They were the heavy favorites. They got the ball back later and went on an impressive 90-yard drive. And in less than four minutes, they were in the end zone. The snap, the cookie's going to throw. Got time over the middle in the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA! It is Wynn that makes the catch for the UCLA Bruins. Mike Wynn, and it's now 21-16. to And it would be only six points worth for the Bruins as the two-point conversion failed. Now, all season long, the Badgers had run off big chunks of yardage in these situations. They've run out the clock in the fourth quarter when they needed to. And boy, they needed one of those bone-crunching drives now to complete their fantastic adventure. Three minutes and 38 seconds remain. Moss going to get it again. Moss is going to get the first down. Moss has the 30. The 35 and is brought down to the 35-yard line. Move the sticks as Moss moves the UCLA defense back to the 35-yard line, 2.47 to go in the game. Badgers 21, UCLA 16. Down, one yard to go at their own 44-yard line. UCLA down to one timeout. UCLA kind of jumping at the line of scrimmage. There's Brent Moss. There's Brent Moss fighting for the first down. He's not going to get it. He's very close, but I don't think he got it. They will mark him short of the 45-yard line, and UCLA will use a timeout with 1.53 to go in the game, and does that set up a wild finish? It was now fourth and short for the Wisconsin Badgers. A fourth and short at the 10 in the third quarter had led to disaster. This time, no chance is taken by head coach Barry Alvarez. He was going to ask his defense to come up with some big plays down the stretch. They had already forced six UCLA turnovers. Now the Bruins would have the ball. No timeouts left as they took over with a minute and 43 seconds left to go. They were 62 yards away from the Badger goal line. Cooking the shotgun. Back to pass. Plenty of time. Throws over the middle. It is caught at about the 45-yard line and dumped immediately. Clock will continue to run. It was not a first down. It's at the UCLA 45-yard line to the 45-yard line. Second down and three. UCLA. Second and three. Clock keeps running. Down to a minute 17. Cook to throw. Over the middle again. It is caught by Stokes in midfield. He has hit at the 44 or 46 yard line. Drop there. But that's a first down with a minute 11 to go. The slant to Stokes works. And in, in about oh, 30 seconds, they've gotten the ball to where the Badgers had it when they punted. So by punting, the Badgers effectively gained about 30 seconds. Split two receivers to the far side. One to the near side. Cook in the shotgun with a minute nine to go in the game. Badgers by five. He gets the snap. Badgers trying to get pressure up the middle. He runs up the middle. The 40, the 35 or 36 yard line is where he slides to the turf. Close to a first down. They'll stop the clock. Less than a minute to go. 59 seconds left in Rose Bowl 94. First down. UCLA at the Badger 36. 59 seconds to go. 21-16 Wisconsin up. But UCLA threatening to win this football game. In the shotgun is Wayne Cook. Two split receivers to the far side. Cook the throw. No pressure on him. Throwing to the far side. Wide open, but right to the ground on the catch made by, by Allen. And the clock will keep going at the 31-yard line. So pick up a five. You'll give him that now with 43 seconds left to go in the game. UCLA rushes to the line of scrimmage. Down to 38 seconds to go. They've got it second down and four to go at the 31-yard line of the Badgers. Cook to the line with now 30 seconds to go. Cook waits for the snap. He gets it. Has time again. He'll throw long, and it's incomplete. Oh. Almost intercepted. It is incomplete. That will stop the clock. Scott Nelson broke inside. The ball went outside, or that would have ended their hopes. Instead, it will be a third down and four at the Badger 31-yard line. 25 seconds left to go. 
31 yard line of the Badgers. They bring him to the line. Cook is there. And the shotgun. The Badgers falling offside. The flag down. Cook to throw. And they'll stop play. Well, they stop play there. Yeah, UCLA jump. It's UCLA gonna be a five is going to lose the five. 23 seconds to go in the game from the 36 yard line of the Badgers. Cook brings him up. 21 16. Wisconsin is leading it. Two split receivers to the near side. One to the far side. Cook gets the snap and fades back to pass. No pressure. No pressure. Now stepping up. Throwing. Caught again by Stokes to the 25 to the 20 yard line. First down UCLA at the 18 yard line. Stokes on the grab. The clock is stopped with 15 seconds to go. UCLA with no timeouts left at the 18 yard line. They will line up. They will move the sticks and then the clock will start again. Cook's got to just take the snap and throw the ball right down. Waiting for the snap. He'll go back. He's going to look to throw. Now going to run with the football. They He's down at the 15 yard line. They won't get another play. I tell you what, I'm just floating right now. I, I tell you, I'm just so proud of these coaches and kids and the way they fought. And uh, it's a great football game. It was quite a spectacle. Of course, it was quite a spectacle. No ordinary game would do. Not after the season the Badgers had experienced. The game included 158 yards rushing and two touchdowns by game MVP Brent Moss. Six forced Bruins turnovers. Linebacker Yusef Burgess was involved in forcing two fumbles and he recovered another while recording a game-high 12 tackles. Just more great numbers added on to the great numbers put up all season long by this team. The 1993 Badgers were the first UW team to win a Rose Bowl game. The first UW team to win 10 games in a season. They finished number one in total offense in the Big Ten. Daryl Bevel was the first Badger quarterback since Ron Vanderkellen to be named the All-Big Ten quarterback. Bevel ranked third in the nation in passing efficiency, finishing ahead of Tennessee's Heath Schuler and Heisman Trophy winner Charlie Ward. The Big Ten's MVP wore number 33 for the Cardinal in white. Brent Moss shattered marks set by Alan the Horse Amici, Rufus the Roadrunner Ferguson, and Billy Merrick. Defensive back Jeff Messenger led the Big Ten with seven interceptions, including one in the Rose Bowl. And Barry Alvarez, he was simply named the Big Ten's Coach of the Year. A special salute has to go to the seniors on this team. Some were around for the gory days. Scott Nelson, Reggie Holt, Joe Panos, Lee Krieger, Lamarck Shackerford, Mark Montgomery, Tyler Adam, Henry Searcy, Jeff Worth. For them, there will be nothing like the glory days, the days that were the 1993 Wisconsin Badgers football season.